Natural Light Natter Days is a strawberry lemonade drinking beer, 4.2% alcohol. Let's give it a shot. Let me begin with a prologue. I haven't had Natural Light or Natural Ice, let's just say in a long, long time. I've avoided Natural Light or Natural Ice because of said unsaid reasons for why I haven't had it in a long, long time. Now, to chapter one. I would be lying if I said I did not enjoy this beer. There is something really refreshing about this beer. I think it hits really well on the strawberry and the lemonade. Now, I wouldn't say it's a natural strawberry or a natural lemonade kind of flavor, they're both clearly manufactured and imitation. But with how light the beer is, how watery it is, the carbonation, the strawberry and the lemonade complement each other as they're supposed to. But it's also, you're not getting an overwhelming beer flavor that's trying to drown out the strawberry and the lemonade and still kind of compete with a t- like tending to some sort of event where it wants to be included in the beer realm. But it's also not super overwhelmed with this fake strawberry lemonade flavor. The beer flavor is extremely toned back, and it kind of puts the lemonade and the strawberry up front. And it's again, it's not overly, it's not syrupy by any means, and it's not an incredibly fake manufactured flavor either. Watery, yes. It also distinguishes itself as not one of those hard seltzer waters or hard lemonades. This is still a beer. It's just a strawberry lemonade beer. I've been seeing this on my social media. Some of my friends have been drinking it. My good buddy brought it over the uh, last night. Left some here. I told him I wanted to try it. And here I am. And I was picking on him for a second. And now I can't say that I'm mad at him. This is not bad by any means. I can really see why this beer is being bought. This is not bad. My drinkability on this, I could actually see drinking four or five of these before I would get too sweeted out. Clearly intended for summer or hot month drinking, I feel like if this hasn't caught on by the end of this summer, next summer, if they come back out with this, which I think that they will, I think the market is going to boom for this product and it's going to help them out. And I hope that they see that in their marketing department, that this is a hit. I can see next summer, this being a go-to, especially amongst novice drinkers, especially against the ladies. I know a lot of the ladies like this kind of stuff, but I'm not saying that the men wouldn't either. I'm not saying that it's a sexist product. I'm just saying that this is a very user friendly alcohol, especially if you're tubing down the river, you're sitting poolside or on a beach you want something cheap. You don't want to sp- you know. You don't want to break the bank, and you want some flavor in some beer. I could really see this hitting the hitting the mark, and it has. On a scale of one to ten, you're gonna be surprised. I'm gonna give this an eight. This, I had really low expectations for this beer, so when I tried it, it really it surprised me. the The surprise factor was more than what I expected. And I think that's why I'm giving it such, such a high score, but I also broke it down. I said, is it, is it a beer still? Yes. It's still a beer. Does it have enough flavor? Yes. Is that flavor artificial and syrupy? No, it's not. Are you going to get annoyed with this beer? No. Is it refreshing on a hot day? Absolutely. It's refreshing. Is it natural light? Yeah, it's natural light. That should be in the negative category. However, I'm throwing that into the positive side because Hey, natural light, you guys did a good job. You guys did a really good job and I commend you for it. And I know, again, I'm, I'm kind of going above and beyond here, but I think this is going to be a hit if it, if it's not already. So again, that's natural light, Natterdays, strawberry lemonade, 4.2% alcohol.